name is Stefan Kraus from By the Bytes, and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you the tiling system of World Creator. Now let's start by creating a new terrain. Here we go. The tiling system can be found under the general tab. Here it is, tiling system. I'm switching over to the GPU so everything goes a little bit faster. Now if you want to tile this terrain, just check the tileable checkbox here and generate to see what is happening. So the borders are now adapted and now you're ready to create more tiles. This is done very easy. You only have to create a new terrain, mark it as tileable, set up the tile position. So actually tile position along the x-axis means that uh, we want to create another tile which is uh, to the right of the original tile and this is actually an index position. So set it up and create click generate. So now we have two tiles as you can see they're seamlessly fit together and you can do this and perform this uh, setting uh, like, the, like the X and the Z positions. The, the, these are the indices. You can put the tile around the original tile in any way you want. For example if you want to set, set it to uh, above this tile here, change the values and there you go. You also can create a tile independently to another one and so on. Negative values are also possible. So if you enter minus one and you create the tile to the left of the original one. There are no limits in the number of tiles you can create with the professional version. The standard version is limited to a maximum of uh, six tiles which means uh, three tiles in each direction. So set it to one. And now let's see what else we can do with it. Now, the really powerful thing about this is that you can create multiple biomes and uh, stitch them together. So it uh, just uh, has a perfect blending between those two tiles. I'm going to do this. I want to apply a, a terrestrial filter for this one here, for the second tile that I have created. So I go to uh, the terrain mass and terrain filter settings, add terrain filter. I'm selecting the terrestrial filter here and hit generate. I can see that this terrain tile has been adapted. It now looks more terrestrial and I still have a very good and a perfect blending between those two tiles. Now you can adjust a little bit the blending between them by, for example, setting the border blending to 1 and you get another result now. You of course can also apply to this another terrain filter if you would like. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe we can find something that is more dramatically so we can see the difference. Very hard. Here we go. Now we have a Minecraft compared with a, combined with a, with a, with a terrain. Um, the outer line, if this one is checked and you create a new tile and you uh, set up uh, an index for the X and the Z positions and you hit generate, then the tile is automatically being placed uh, according to the, to the width and to the height, so you don't have to care uh, about it anymore. Uh, so it's uh, recommend to, to, you, uh, to leave this checked. And if you have used textures on, uh, textured on one tile, you can copy the textures to the other one, also the same objects, so if you want to create a larger area. But this, uh, this will be another tutorial uh, when it's about texturing and, uh, and uh, object placement. Okay, that's right now. Thanks for watching and um, please check out our other tutorial videos. Bye bye.